Well, protests over the deadly police shooting of Andrew Brown Jr. have gone on in Elizabeth City, North Carolina, since that incident happened in April. But now we're seeing demonstrations come to life in other cities across the state, including right here in Charlotte. And our Alana Harris joins us live now from the Government Center in Uptown with more on what these folks have to say. Good evening. So the rally has gone on for about an hour now. They say that they are overall upset that Brown was killed with their tax dollars. You can see here, this is what has been happening. A lot of speakers have been speaking today. They are demanding truth, transparency, accountability, and justice for Brown. But you know, they're also pushing for the immediate release of the full unredacted body cam footage, something that did not happen in this case, something they say would help the community know how Brown was reportedly shot in the back of the head. And this is an issue that North Carolina legislators are working to address. A warrant is not a license to kill. Um, this is not bring him in dead or alive. Protests demanding justice for the fatal police shooting of Andrew Brown Jr. in Elizabeth City are now stretching to Charlotte and five more cities on Tuesday. We felt that we needed to stand in solidarity with them to let them know that uh, people across the state are are with them. Though Brown was unarmed, his shooting was deemed justified by the district attorney who said he used his car as a deadly weapon, forcing officers to shoot. The body cam footage showing what happened was originally held back. The uh, district attorney can just decide, nope, we're not going to let you see it. We're not going to release it to the public. Um, we're, we're not even going to show it all to the family of the victim. It has since been released in part, and Brown's family believes he was never threatening officers, but trying to flee. Steve Knight, with repairs of the breach, says it's a prime example of why the transparency is crucial. We, we need to be able to see and, and judge for ourselves uh, what is, is happening in these cases. A new North Carolina Senate bill is seemingly a step toward that, amending the North Carolina body cam law to require immediate family or a personal representative to be shown un redacted body cam footage that depicts death or serious injury within five days if requested, though law enforcement agencies could still ask a judge for permission to redact confidential or sensitive information. Knight says it doesn't go far enough. One of the, the key things that we're calling for is making these body camera videos available, um, not just to the families, but also to the public. But that bill has passed in the Senate. It is now in the House. We are going to continue to stay out here and monitor this and bring you any updates on air and online, of course, at WCNC.com. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.